I think it was Napoleon who once said that if the entire world was one empire, Istanbul would be its capital. Now, with a recommendation like that, how can a world traveler stay away from the city that straddles two continents? So here I am in what was once the heart of the Byzantine Empire, followed by the mighty Ottoman Empire, the former city of Constantinople. In other words, welcome to Istanbul, Turkey. Stick around because I'll be bringing you my choice of the 10 things to do before you say bye to this part of the world. If Emperor Constantine established Christianity as a state religion of the Roman Empire, it was Emperor Justinian who created what was for a thousand years the world's largest cathedral, Hagia Sophia. There's so many places in wonderful Istanbul that I had just read about and I was dying to go to. But now that I'm here, I'm beginning with this. It's called Aya Sophia and it's currently a museum. But it wasn't always a museum. In fact, going as far back as the 4th century AD, it was the grandest, greatest church of Christian Byzantium. You don't have to be a history buff or an architecture student to appreciate Istanbul's monumental heritage. In fact, you'd be missing out on a big part of the Istanbul experience if you didn't go see it. Hagia Sophia, meaning divine wisdom in Greek, tried to mirror the heavens. I can't say if it succeeded, but here on Earth, this grand 4th century structure did have a massive impact on world architecture. Incredible. With the capture of Istanbul by the Ottomans, Christianity's great church had new custodians. Muslim emperors, who reinforced it, added a massive dome and turned Hagia Sophia into a mosque. Down the centuries, several Ottoman emperors wished to have their tombs built within Hagia Sophia, officially making this sacred site home, consecutively, to two great world religions. Arguably nowhere else in the world do you see looking down upon you exquisite mosaics of Christ, the Holy Virgin and Gabriel alongside pillars and plaques bearing Quranic inscriptions. The upper galleries that were once exclusively for the Empress's entourage are today open to all who wish to have closer views of the magnificent dome and the exquisite Byzantine mosaics. Given the complexity of Hagia Sophia's past and with religious sensitivities in mind, Hagia Sophia, as the Turks now call it, is today a museum 